life. What's good? It's your girl D back with the D with D series. Today we are looking at another one of the Freeman masks. This is the sweet tea and lemon peel away clay mask. Stay with me, stay with me, <laughs> honestly, really. Uh, it is for normal and combination skin. So our peel away clay mask absorbs oil, refines and toned skin, perfect for normal to combination skin. Apply a very thin layer to clean dry face, avoiding eye area, eyebrows, hairline, lips, leave on five to 10 minutes until dry. Gently peel mask from outer edges, rinse with warm water, use two times a week or as often as needed. Now, initially when I got this, I wasn't horribly wild about it because in my mind, any type of mask that peeled away would pull blackheads and dirt and dead skin and all that. This is one of those where it's in between. It's more on the comfort side, um, more on that side of the spectrum than it is necessarily the, we're gonna get everything out of each and every single pore, every available follicle, every piece of dirt ever. It's more like, here in the middle, this is, you know, dirt busting. This is, you know, comfort. It's like, kind of tipping that way. Anyways, um, but I still, I'm not gonna knock it. And it's been a while since I've used it and I'm due for some skincare because we got some breakouts and you know, we gotta fight breakouts like we fight crime. So if you want to see how it works for me, who is oily like Church's chicken, stay tuned after the jump. Oh, now I remember it is kind of a clay mask consistency. It goes on like a clay mask, but you peel it off. Weird, but cool. <laughs> As usual, <clears throat> anytime that you are doing any kind of skincare, we make sure that your hair is tucked away. Help me out is my Real Techniques foundation brush number one on one. I just like to feel fancy with the shit, you know. <clears throat> I mean, this says a thin layer. I mean, I know, I know it says a thin layer, but I'm not doing a thin layer. Is, is there anything thin, is there anything thin about me? Nah, bruh. Nah. My patience. My patience is thin. Yeah. It's probably the only thin thing I got. Ooh. <laughs> it is tingling. But I think that's just because my skin is a, a little sensitive right now. Um I'm not taking any new medications or anything like that. But I don't know if it's a change in the weather, stress, you know, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I got that all over my eyebrow and that's quite all right because what's going to happen is I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Plus, this isn't potent enough to pull up eyebrow hairs anyways, but we're uh, we not taking no chances though. Now, one thing I didn't like is that immediately it is dis <coughs> dissipating. Like I know it says that it wants a thin layer, but it's already like almost evaporating in some areas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and even those out. Um, now other than that, I think we're good. You know, even that out and make sure my brows is good and whatnot. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, let this stay on. It said five to 10 minutes. Um, who's impatient is not me. To go ahead and uh, let this chill while I watch some of y'all's videos on YouTube. And I just want to say thank you. Oh my god, you subscribers came out of nowhere. I'm pushing 350 now. We started this off with 32, bruh. Thank you. I really, genuinely, honest, honest, and truly appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Like, I'm here for y'all. I'm here for you, and thank you so much for putting up with my shenanigans, for actually listening to what it is that I have to say. Just like legit, thank you. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys. So before let me get out of my feelings though, and uh, let this mask out. Dry, dry. 
taut. I'm about to remove. Mm. I've heard that there's some people who say that you should take your mask off and pull upwards to pull the dirt out. There's some people who say when you take your mask off, you pull downwards. I just pull the damn thing off. blackheads or pores. Very few. But it, it got some stuff out. It did. Maybe it's because I left it on there. Maybe it's because I did a thicker layer. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, now that we've got all that residue off. Wow. You know what? For being a clay base, but being able to be peeled off, not bad at all. Skin feels firm, but soft to the touch. Again, it did take off quite a bit of dead skin and a few blackheads. I wasn't quite expecting it to, because usually, you know, the first time that I use it, and I don't know if it's maybe it's because I didn't leave it on there long enough or not, but it didn't really pull much of anything. So I was surprised to see like, you know, very thin layer with, um, areas of my face that have a drier skin than normal. Even though I'm oily, I also have eczema, so I have like, you know, the best of both worlds. Again, light. Mm. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend this. Um, the good thing about the Freeman series is that when you just need a little bit of extra pampering, they really do have something for almost every single skin condition. And I just picked up quite a few from eBay that I didn't even know existed, so I'm going to be bringing you more with the Beauty with D series. In regards to this, the Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Away Clay Mask, oh yeah. Um, it retails for just under $5 at your local Ulta, or, and you're also able to find it at other retailers as well too. Walmart carries quite a few of the Freeman series as well. So um, yeah, definitely recommend this. Five out of five stars, shall we? Mm -hmm. Other than that, that's all I got. As always, thank you ever so much for watching, liking, commenting, and especially subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions, hit your girl up in the comments section. Um, as mentioned, I will be bringing you more with the Beauty With D series. Hashtag Beauty With D. Just search that if you want to check out the others. Other than that, I will see you on the next video. Take care.